Hey scientists, let's play a little game. A person running, charging your cell phone, rays of light shining down on a plant, a campfire roasting marshmallows, your favorite song blaring from your earbuds. What do you think these all have in common? Give up? They're all forms of energy. Let's take a closer look. Energy is just the ability to do work. Energy comes in several different forms, but let's focus on five different forms for now. Energy can be in the form of mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, or sound energy. And an easy way to remember these five forms is with the acronym MELTS. Let's take a closer look at each form. Mechanical energy is the energy of motion. This is the form of energy you'll see when a hammer hits a nail, a wrecking ball hits a building, or if you run down the sidewalk. Mechanical energy can also be seen in wind spinning a windmill, and again in the windmill driving a grindstone to grind corn into small cornmeal, in the mill worker gathering and moving the cornmeal, and even one last time in your mom mixing and kneading the cornmeal into dough to make tortillas. That's a lot of mechanical energy. Electrical energy is probably the one you think of most with the word energy. This form of energy happens when charged particles move in a current. This form of energy can be seen all over in today's world. The electricity that turns on your TV, charges your phone, or even when you turn on your electric oven or microwave. But electricity and batteries date all the way back to ancient Egypt where they used to use low amounts of electrical energy to electroplate metals to prevent them from forming rust. Light energy is the only form of energy we can see. Light is a form of energy that moves in waves and allows us to see. This is also the form of energy when the sun's light waves shine down on a plant or when a fireworks show lights up the night sky. Thermal energy is the energy of heat. The most basic example of thermal energy is a fire but you can find thermal energy anywhere there is heat. Sound energy moves in waves and vibrates your eardrums to allow you to hear it. Listening to music on your earbuds, listening to me talking, hearing your dog bark, or even the sound of a pin tapping on a desk. But most of the time you experience more than one form of energy at a time. Let's take a look back at some of our previous examples. Using a hammer to hit a nail is definitely mechanical energy, but that loud ping when the hammer hits the metal is also an example of sound energy. Turning on the TV in your house produces light energy, so you can see it, but in order to turn it on, it has to have electrical energy. Sometimes you end up with even more overlap, like with your microwave. It uses electrical energy to create light energy in the form of microwaves that you use to heat your food with thermal energy. Energy is all around you, but let's look at some questions.